Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in this video on power measurement, uh, we'll be talking about two watt meter method. But before that, we'll just briefly uh, touch about the theoretical part of it and then we'll solve uh, a problem 12.7 already solved in the book. I'll just explain that. Before going further, I'll strongly recommend that you watch my uh, already recorded vid videos uh, from uh, Mr. Alexander Sadiku's book. And uh, these three videos are very much appreciated by the students. So please take time to go through these videos. Okay, now in the book, this is how um, the three loads have been represented. So this is a Y connected load and the uh, supply voltages through these three lines and in between the three watt meters have been connected so this is for the y connected load similarly for the delta connected load you can see this is like a delta so the delta connected load also we have three lines this and this and uh, three watt meters have been connected in the three lines a more simplified version is from other book, Mr. Siddiqui's book, and that looks like this: that you have one watt meter here, other watt meter here, and the third in the third line, and then your load could be either a Y or a delta load, and the total power will be sum of the three. So P1, then P2, then P3. Sum of the three will give the total power. Now here is another option that is uh, using just two watt meters instead of three watt meters and the same circuit Y or delta and now in this case the total power will be the sum of the two that is P1 plus P2 and uh, it can be uh, um, proved that the, th the two results are same like the power here measured by the three meters is same power uh, that measured by the two meters. So that is why uh, this three me uh, watt meter method is not used, rather two watt meter, uh, watt meter method is uh, preferred. Okay, some uh, more theoretical concepts. The voltage source can be connected in the star fashion or Y fashion or in delta fashion. Now, Similarly, the load can be connected in Y fashion and in delta fashion. Also, when the loads are all equal, so Z1, Z2, Z3 equal or Z A, Z B, Z C equal, then we call this to be balanced load. And if they are not equal, then it is unbalanced load. There is another term used in this book is about the sequence, it's called positive sequence. Positive sequence means we move clockwise so like if we have given or if you know VA and we want to find VB then the angle of VB will be minus 120 different from here so let's see from this uh, example here if VAB is 100 volt and angle is 0 so 100 volt angle is 0 then VBC we don't need to do anything we just write the same magnitude because they are balanced uh, uh, voltages same voltage the only difference will be angle so this one will have an angle of minus 120 and similarly we are going from here so minus 120 minus 120 so C V C A will be 100 volt but minus 240 degree now if we have a uh, line voltage which is actually line to line voltage so if it is clear from here look from A to B is line to line voltage and from A to N is phase voltage. So line voltage is obviously greater than phase voltage. So if you have the line voltage given and you want to find the phase voltage, then we use this simple formula. We divide the magnitude by under root 3 and we an add an angle of minus 30 degrees. So 0 will become minus 30 minus 120 minus 30 will become minus 150 and minus 240 minus 30 will be minus 270 and magnitude in all cases divided by under root 3. 
so this is from line voltage to phase voltage and th this is how you can remember from bigger to smaller you divide by under root 3 and you subtract by angle 30. Now if in the circuit the line current and phase currents are not same like here you see this is the line current coming from here this line current is dividing now into two paths so this will be one phase current and here will, it will be another phase current so that means line current and phase currents are not same so in that case we can find the line current which will be equal to under root 3 phase current and minus 30 so this is another formula that you should keep in mind okay now let's do the example uh, this is already solved in the book but we'll try to make it uh, a little simpler the question is a balanced load so that means they are same values all three have same value and figure is fed by a balanced three phase systems so we are feeding three voltage sources from here and the first one AB is 230 angle 0 RMS and we are using positive phase sequence so the moment you see this positive phase sequence then you should keep in mind that VAB is 230 0 then this this was AB then we come here VB will be 230 minus 120 and VC will be somewhere here so that will be 230 minus 240 okay so we'll see that then what we have to do we have to find the reading of each watt meter so this is one watt meter and this is another watt meter this is a current coil of the watt meter connected in series and the potential coil is connected between uh, in this case between A and C line and in the second case between B and C line so uh, we are just using two watt meters now the potential coil of watt meter one is connected to measure the voltage VAC so if you see from A to C so it is going to measure VAC and its current coil will measure the phase current IAA so this is the current coil so it will measure this current IAA so if we uh, find these two then we can find the watt meter reading uh, of watt meter one so let's proceed as I mentioned earlier since this is given 230 VAB and also it is mentioned that it is positive phase sequence so straight away we can write the other two this is VBC will be 230 minus 120 and VCA will be 230 uh, minus 240 or as I mentioned also that minus 240 plus 360 will make 120 so it is written 120 here okay now you can see that the the voltage is connected between AC between A and C whereas we have found CA so we got to convert this into VAC now VAC is actually inverse of VCA or minus or negative of VCA which means VCA angle minus 180 for minus it could uh, we can write minus 180 and so when the magnitude is 230 230 then minus 180 and plus 120 so this is the voltage VAC 230 uh, minus 60 degrees so we have found VAC uh, now let's find the current now current this current this is the neutral point and we can say that this is actually the ground point so that means this is the circuit voltage is given here this impedance we know so we can find the current by voltage divided by the impedance so voltage van which was again uh, we don't have van but we have vab and we al already discussed in the previous one that this is the line voltage van is phase voltage only one phase voltage so if we have to uh, go from line to phase then we divide by under root 3 and uh, subtract angle 30 so 230 is divided by under root 3 
and its zero will now become minus 30. So this is VAN and divided by the um, uh, impedance 4 plus J15 and by solving we get the answer 8.554 angle 105 ampere. Okay, now the power formula. This is the power formula for uh, this wattmeter 1. We have to uh, VAC multiply by the current and multiply by cosine of the difference of two angles. So angle of VAC minus angle of IA. So we have uh, all the values. VAC, we found this, so 230 magnitude. So here we'll put 230 and this angle is minus 60 and similarly IA is 8.554 uh, so we'll put it here and its angle is minus 105 so plugging in the values so P1 will be 230 so there's 230 coming here IAA magnitude 8.54 cosine minus 60 and minus minus 105 that will make it plus and so using your calculator you can now calculate it to be 1389 watts that is the power of uh, this watt meter and similarly we can find the power measured by watt meter 2 so if this is VBC we already know VA, VA and VB and VC so we can find this voltage also so let's see VBC here 230 minus 120 and the since it is a balanced load same load therefore the current will be same except that the angle of the current will be changed so angle will also follow the same rule 0 minus 120 and uh, minus 240 or plus 120 similarly current will follow the same rule 0 minus 120 and minus 240 so VBC from here 230 minus 120 and IBB now IBB is this current uh, we don't need to calculate we already have IA and so IA uh, minus 120 so IA minus 120 IA was 855 8.55 and its angle was minus 105 then we subtract minus 120 from here so we get this result so 8.54 minus 225.1 in the book he has made it positive by adding 360 so you can also do that no problem so this is the magnitude and this is the angle 134 even if you use this negative angle you will get the same result okay so now plugging in the values the magnitude 230 magnitude of current 8.54 this angle minus 120 and this angle 134.9 so minus 134.9 and calculating you get the power to be minus 512.5 watt so this is how uh, you solve the two watt meter problems thank you okay sorry i missed the total power absorbed is will be the sum of the two so you just